guys are headed to the NCAA championship to take on number one Stanford. What are you guys thinking about right now? Um, first of all, we're thinking about celebrating. Second of all, we're going to think about doing our best. And this is the first time we've ever been there, so we'll see what happens. You guys got off to a uh, quick 4 nothing start after the first quarter. How, how important was that for you guys to kind of get the nerves out of playing in this game, you know, in a place where you guys have never been before? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I didn't personally, I didn't have any nerves. I was so excited to play that it just, it just happened. We did so well in the first quarter, so... I don't know, it just happened. <laughs> there was a time there where they, they uh, scored a couple goals in a row. It looked like you guys were kind of fell asleep yeah. a little bit there. What, what what did it take to get back on track there and kind of build um, that lead again? We just had to adjust to their – they scored uh, four goals in a row, I think, on a six-on-five offense, on your five-on-six. So we just had to adjust to what they did. They scored four goals in a row the same position. So adjusted well. What are you guys looking forward to when you go out to Michigan and have to take on the number one team in the country right now? Looking forward to something we've never done before. It's a fun thing to experience, so a learning process. Great job today, Craig. Congratulations. You guys just Thank you. Uh, advanced to the NCAA championship. You're going to take on the number one team. Well, what are you guys thinking right now? How excited are you? I'm so excited. We've been waiting for well, I mean, I'm a junior. I've been waiting three years to get to this point. Um, we're excited and nervous to play Stanford, but it's something we've never done before, and it's going to be a great experience. You had six assists in the game today uh, to go along with Maggie's uh, seven goals. Goals there. Talk about you know your guys you know kind of controlling the offensive game and you know keep keep that number going up on the scoreboard you know to get the win today. Um, I mean, I'm there for my team. My team's there for me, and it's not about making goals. If I can be there for assists, I'm more than happy to. How important was it for you guys, for momentum purposes, to kind of get the nerves out of your system there to get up to that four nothing lead, just or five nothing lead to start in the second quarter there? Um, I think we just came out really strong, which is something we don't normally do. We usually have to come back, but we came out strong and showed them what we were here for, and we took it at the end. What do you guys look forward to when you get to go to uh, the University of Michigan now to take on Stanford? <laughs> I'm looking forward to being known. Being known, I own a water polo. Here we come. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Great. Congratulations. Very exciting win here. We had a great crowd here representing Iona. Talk about you know your initial thoughts of uh, advancing to the NCAA championship for the first time in school history. It's uh, it's just such a great experience. The girls really deserve it. They worked really hard all season. Um, and we we transitioned well. We were a fast team all year. We were a physical team all year. And we brought that today. Now, talk about how important it was for your nerves, the team's nerves, and everyone to get off to that five nothing start there. You know, take a quick five goal lead, like as as, as fast as you guys did. Oh, it's it, it's tremendous. It's huge. Um, we had one of our alumni who's who's a is a classic uh, a, a classic old school guy. He goes, you got to get out on them early. All the girls, we preach that all week. Got to get out on them early. They're flying from the West Coast. It's a tough tough travel for them. So we jumped out and, and you know we let them know that we were here ready to go and uh, definitely really helped out and then after that start they outscored they scored four out of the next five they cut it down to six to four what was the turning point after that that allowed you guys to get back in there and you know take again that six seven goal lead our, our counter I mean we just had a, you know we had a couple timeouts where we had, where we had a chance to talk and our and their goals were some blown coverages by us we left people w wide open the crowd was really loud today so the girls had a tough time hearing each other in the pool and it led to some blown coverages and, uh, on our defensive assignments um, we got a couple counters right off of that and we had a big penalty shot goal that I think sealed the game. I mean, there's still a lot of time left, but once you go back five goals, and, and it's it's tough to come back against anybody. You can go back up five goals, and that, that big five-meter penalty shot um, that CC passed to Maggie. Maggie drew it, and then she scored it. Uh, I think that was a major turning point in the game. Now, what do you guys look forward to Wednesday when you guys head out to Ann Arbor, and then you have to face the number one team in the country? Have you ever Face the number one team in the country, first of all, and then second, what do you guys look forward to? Yeah, um, a couple times as a player at Iona, we played the number one team in the country, and um, a couple times as a coach, I've coached against the number one team in the country. We've had some some exciting games, some close games. We've also had some tough games. Um, you know, this is national championships. We're, we're playing Stanford. They're the only team that's made it every single year of the tournament. They've made 11 straight years. They've been number one all year. Um, they've only lost one game. They're a tough team. We know they're not going to mess around, and uh, it's a great opportunity for us to play the best players in the country. And the last question I have, 
and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. You got to take a little bath there after the game. Victor Bath, did you have your keys, your cell phone, and everything in your pocket when you when you uh, took the bath? I, I had them all the way in. I had it in my wallet, my 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 phone, my keys, my pocket. You keep it in. You don't keep it in your bag during the game because you don't want to jinx anything. So kept it until the last 15 seconds. I took them out and handed them to my assistant, who <laughs> she promptly got thrown into. So I think they're in my bag. I think they're safe. I'm not even sure. I hope they're not at the bottom of the pool. All right, congratulations, coach, and uh, we'll see you out in game Michigan. Bye, guys. Yeah, you really took it to them to start it off. Talk about how that kind of led to the momentum the rest of the game, getting off to that quick 5-0 lead. 5-0 lead. Um, I mean, we just played great defense in the beginning. Great defense, and we countered, and we anticipated the steals that we had to counter them, and we're a way faster team than they are, so uh, that was to our advantage, definitely, um, starting in the first quarter. And uh, we let them come back a little bit, but going into the third quarter, we shut them out, and we took it, the, our counterattack to them again, so. Well, you've got seven goals and an assist in the game. You, led, you already led the nation in goals scored, and you're one point shy of the points lead with you know three games to go next weekend. Talk about you know that accomplishment here as a senior, you know, where the first player in Iona history to ever lead the nation in goals and points. I mean, it's it's a great feeling. Uh, when I found out yesterday, I was surprised. I mean, we're a small school, so no one really expects like someone from Iona to be leading the nation in goals. But um, I wouldn't be there without my team. So and Brian, he uh, really pushes me a lot, to, and he pushed me a lot to get where I am today. So. How excited are you to get out to Michigan and play the number one team in the country? It's going to be um, an experience. It's going to be a great experience. Those are some of the best players in the nation right now. So I'm so excited to see that level of play. So. Coach Kelly told me that he might have lost his cell phone in that uh, in the bath that he took today. <laughs> Who's responsible for pushing him in the pool there? Um, I think I'm going to go with Cece. <laughs> she definitely was the first one off the bench and pushed him in the water. So. Well, congratulations, and we'll see you guys next weekend in Michigan. Thank you.